So guys, it's getting late on a Sunday evening, but that doesn't matter because today we're going to be looking at the Hobbywing Max 10 SCT. Take a look at this. Don't forget guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I've got so much RC related content coming your way soon. You'd be really silly not to. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the uh, Easy Run Max 10 SCT speed controller and uh, 3200 kV motor from Hobbywing. Uh, this is aimed at monster trucks, buggies, truggies and some on-road vehicles as well. Uh, I've been so excited to receive this guys. If you haven't already seen, uh, I had some serious motor cogging issues with the Ghoul RC system. Take a look at this. So as you see there, I had some serious issues with my Ghoul RC combo in my Armour Granite. Thankfully guys, you know, I got this system ordered as quick as I could. Um, I spoke in depth on the um, Armour forums as well as some RC forums here in the UK and everyone has recommended to me this setup. So I'm hoping this is really going to even out the issues that I'm having and I can finally enjoy my truck. Okay guys, so without wasting any more time, let's get this unboxed and see what we've got. And get it out. Okay, so this is the ESC itself. This is a 120 amp uh, speed control. Now these do come, please bear in mind guys, these do come without a connector on the end. I paid, I think it was about £3 uh, to get an XD60 connector pre-soldered onto the end of this now <clears throat> don't get me wrong you can do this yourself and I was fully capable of doing this myself as well but just for ease and just to speed the process up of getting this put into my truck I just thought it's one extra thing to not have to worry about so this is why I went for the uh, pre-soldered option <clears throat> now guys I've got to be honest this does feel high quality I haven't I've never had a hobby wing system before so this does feel really, really nice. I'm going to be honest, it really does. I, I do like the fact that the, um, the power switch feels good as well. It feels sturdy, guys, I've got to be honest. Let's sit that down there for a moment. So you do get a little bag of accessories with this. Let's take a little look and see what we've got in here. Some extension cables, some double sided tape to get this stuck down into your truck or your vehicle or whatever it is you're going to be putting this into. It looks like there's a spare fan here. Now that's something I've never seen before uh, with an ESC. An ESC combo I should say. Nice little addition. There's a little mounting bracket there. Uh, now I may be wrong but I'm pretty sure this does work in quite a few quite a few vehicles this will fit into as standard which is a really nice touch and a really nice addition and I have seen people actually drill extra holes in this to make this fit into other vehicles as well I think this is a really nice little thing that Hobbywing have included here I mean guys this is ticking all the boxes so far so I'm gonna be uh, I'm already very happy some heat shrink tube some cable tires and then there's just um, some screws and other bits in there, guys, nothing major. So, <clears throat> what else do we have in the box? So you've got a user manual, and I'm pretty sure this will cover um, setup programming and all the different options that this ESC allows you to do and then finally guys you've got some stickers in there some hobby wing stickers which you can actually put onto your body shell or wherever you'd like to stick those I'm just going to set this aside for a moment while we take a look at the motor okay so let's take a look at the motor then guys so this is the 3660 motor so this means 36 diameter and 60 length 
Um, it's a 3200 kV motor. This is suitable for the one tenth scale. Uh, this is suitable for one tenth scale trucks, buggies, uh, truggies, and some on road vehicles. Although I'm not sure whether or not you'd want to run a 3200 kV in an on road vehicle, you'd probably want to go a bit higher. Now let's get this open, guys. This all feels really nice. The packaging feels good. It just feels high quality. I've got to be honest. Oh yeah, this thing is a beauty. <clears throat> now this does come with, uh, I think they're four mil, four millimeter bullets already soldered onto the lead, so you don't have to worry about that. And I believe these will fit directly into the ESC. Yep, and they are labelled A, B, and C. Now you do have to make sure that you put them in the correct, uh, you put the bullets into the correct place on the ESC. So as you see there, I don't know if you can see, you may be able to see, maybe not. Um, just there, guys, is labelled A, B, and C. And then on the motor, you can see. You can also see A, B and C right there, which corresponds to the correct place on the ESC. So make sure you do that. Don't just stick these any way you feel. Now, <clears throat> this does feel really nice, guys. I'm going to be honest. It feels really high quality compared to the Ghoul system that I was running before in my Armour Granite. This does feel premium, 100%. I've just noticed you do get a little temperature sensor. There is a little socket there to put a temperature sensor in as well which is a nice little addition so there's not really a lot to say about this motor guys um, yeah it's really really nice it's got a real nice feel to it okay I'll finally stop banging on and get this bad boy fitted into the armor granite right that is the motor mounted into the standard uh, motor mount I have got the aluminium mount on uh, order but it's currently on back order guys so I'm waiting for that to turn up so that could be a little while. Um, I didn't have any major issues with this though. It went in fairly fine. Um, using a 15 to, uh, tooth pinion with this. Pretty much just like uh, the standard BLX version of this vehicle. Right, so it is fitted in now but it is quite late. So I'm not going to be able to test it out guys. I will show you though. Okay, so here we are. So the motor and, motor and ESC is now fitted in. And I tell you what, it went in absolutely perfectly, guys. <clears throat> the only thing I need to do is uh, find somewhere to mount the little switch. I want to put this in quite a presentable location. Um, <clears throat> the little sensor wire for the motor sensor wire for the temperature, I believe that's for motor protection reasons, so that the motor doesn't overheat and the ESC will shut down to prevent any damage to that motor. I believe that's what the reason is. Uh, I may be wrong if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Um, <clears throat> that's a nice addition, I really do like that. Just the over overall quality and feel of this system is just so nice. So as you can see, it is fitted in guys. I'm, I'm not gonna uh, make this video go on for too long. I will try and get a video up tomorrow of this in action. I cannot wait to get this out and see if those issues that I had uh, with the Ghoul RC system are finally gone and I can finally start to enjoy uh, <clears throat> my very first armour vehicle. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there guys. I hope you have a good evening and I will catch you soon. Cheers.